is Ebo Niger Mama. You are welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, you are welcome. Yeah, I'm a physically challenged mom based in Worry Delta State. Originally, I'm from Edo State, Uhodua to be precise, but I'm based in Delta State. I come out here today to do this video because of what has been going on on social media for the past how many days now concerning this lady a physically challenged lady called Ruth Matthew. I have listened to her story, I've watched her say talk what happened to her, her experience with prophet Jeremiah in worry. So the reason why I'm here today to do this video is one, she's somebody like me too, a physically challenged mom. By the grace of God, I've related to we have a lot of things in common. She's physically challenged, I'm physically challenged. I heard her talking about how she gave birth to her children through CS because of her condition. Also me, I gave birth to CS twice because of my condition. And it pains me a lot to see somebody that calls himself a man of God taking advantage of this woman according to her she said three years ago in that church a child got missing up to now she has not seen the child so the reason why i'm doing this video today i know the one of food but has happened already but i want to talk to a lot of people and mostly people like me that have challenges because of these challenges you will decide to be going to church from one church to church for another i want to tell you people according to her she said when i watched her on a bracket of a family this a, a human rights journalist bracket Bracketed, ask her, how do you came across Prophet Jeremiah? She said she used to watch her in on uh, in television. That was how she knew about him. Even me also, all these prophets, I have a lot of experience there. I have gone to TB Joshua Church. I have a lot of experience there. This mercy land, I have gone to go and meet Prophet. Multiple I have a lot of experience there. There is one man also in worry, though they say the man is late. Now, this man's name is called Samuel. I had experience there that make me to cry my life, my eye. Because of that man, I need to do something which I'm not supposed to talk about here. I will not say it here because of a lot of people watching. I nearly do something that I would have regret. That is, if I'm if I can come out to tell the story, I did something I would have end up regret. I wanted to do something that would brought a lot of shame to my family, but thank God I was overcome because of the experience I had there. Even when I went to that prophet church, prophet Omoto mm -hmm. I know the experience I had there. Then I went to Lagos to be Joshua Church. I know the experience I had there. I want to beg fellow people that have challenges that are going from one place to another seeking solution. I want to tell you guys that it's not everything you see in television, the miracles you see, the uh, the, the the prophecy you see, or the prophecy you hear, the what people t told you. Don't please. Don't 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 be a victim. Don't fall for all those things you are watching. 
I've been disabled for the past 22 years. I know what I've been through. I've had a lot of experience in church. I've suffered a lot. I've been humiliated. In short, in one church I went to, that man I is also led to, a church in worry. I was drugged to the extent of about to be raped, if not for God, in church. I have a lot of experience, which I cannot share all of them here with you people. I cannot say everything. I'm just begging you people that please, it's not everything that you see on social media. It's not everything that you watch on television, say, yeah, this man of God, I saw, I saw how they hit this person that cannot walk. I saw how they raise the dead. I saw how they hit somebody that cannot talk. I saw how they make somebody that cannot hear to hear. I saw, it, it shot a lot of things. Please, don't follow them. Don't, 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 don't fall for those things. Please, don't fall. A lot of things are going on in churches, which if you see, if you, if God should open your eyes to see, you will be dumbfounded. You will be dumbfounded. I have had a lot of experience in church. Because of the experience I had in that church that I told you about, in one my church, they, I, I forgot the name of the church. If you can ask people, the church is in Osubi, before the airport. The experience I had in that church, that was when I made the vow that I will never go to church again. I will never go to church again. That was what, that was when I stopped going from miracle, seeking for miracles to for uh, miracles to miracles in church because of the experience I had there. When I went to that Prophet Jeremiah church, I know what happened there. I know what I experienced. I went there about, I think about three times before I stopped. I said, never, I will not go again. Because if I went there before with one eye, I don't want to come back with two eyes closed. That was why I stopped going to that church. So when I listened to this lady talking about a lot of things, what she experienced, in short, eh? in short, I was just shaking my head. The only difference is that I did not lose my child in church. But I know what I passed through in churches I have gone to. So I'm begging you people, I'm begging you. If you are in one problem or the other, you have, everybody have God. Everybody have, this God we are calling upon is one God. You can say your hands are called God, God will answer you. You can hide anywhere and call God, God will answer you. It does, not, it does not necessarily mean you must go to that place to go and seek a miracle, buy a, a, a time, buy photo, buy t-shirt, buy her. If I should tell you what I've experienced in church, my brothers and sisters, hey, you will pity me. I've gone through a lot. I've gone through a lot. If I should say, let me open my back, my back, and show you what they use pigeon. You know this pigeon, this bed pigeon, to do to me in church. If you see my back, they use life pigeon to flog me to the extent of pigeon died. Not only that, the pigeon pieces in my body. Say they are, they are, they are healing me. In short, I don't want to be emotional and I don't want to go back to all what I've gone through. So I'm this opportunity, please. When you are going through one problem or the other, know where you go to. Know the people you ask for help. Please. We can, we can stay in our house and pray to God. We can stay in our house and pray to God. God will answer you. There is no, no where you will stay and answer. I pray to God that God will not answer you. You, you, why do you, why do a lot of people think that it's only when you travel to the church so people will come all the way from a side country to so come to one church to get healing? 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm begging you guys, be careful of what, where you go to. Be careful. Be careful. When I went to that church to go and meet Prophet Jeremiah Motofifain in Mercy Land, called the place Mercy Land. Mm -hmm. Though then, they have not built that church up to like that. They have not built it that time. It was the one I forgot the, the name of the place. Then they were just under one shade. They just put a, a roof a, under a roof. The place was open, so the church was not big by then. When I went there, they say I should come out for healing. I came out for healing. They were forcing me. Me that cannot I cannot stand. I cannot walk. They were forcing me to stand up to say I'm here, to walk. They were forcing me to walk. They will, they will draw me up to stand up. I will fall. They will draw me up to stand up. I will fall. They are still telling me stand up, stand up and walk. You are here. Don't don't. It, it, the way they were doing the things is like, maybe I I I, I got my healing. I refused to walk. They were dragging me. I was crying. They were dragging me to stand up and walk. They would say, stand up, you're already walking. You are here. Stand up. I was falling. I know the pain I came back with when I went to that church that day. That was the day I went there last. I said, God, if I'm here, will I not be happy to walk on my own? If I'm here, will I not walk? Why will I be holding back that I'm not here? They were forcing me. They nearly destroy my spinal cord and managing. They nearly destroy my waist and managing. That one is a small one. I might have talked the experience I had in, in, a, in a, the other the other two churches. In short, I don't want to be I don't want to feel bad today. I'm just here just to tell people that when you are passing through one problem or the other, please know where you go to. Because a lot of these people you see that are posted as men of God. They are, they are, they are, they are like white in the front, dark in the, in the, in the dark. If you should open it, you guys should open our eyes to see what is happening behind. We will regret. So, please, when you are passing through problem, play on problem the other, know where you go to. As a physically challenged person, though I was not born like this, I was not born crippled. I started having this problem when I was 19 years. From that 19 years till now, I know what I've been through. I've went through her. I've seen a lot. I've suffered a lot. So, this is what I'm just here to say. Thank you for watching. God bless you.